Hello there! This is Dino Storm. I wanted to make a quick video because I'm working on a new Metroidvania game and I've tried out something that I thought might work and it does work. So what I've got here is I've got a map, I've got your player character right here. I've got objects that are they're slightly bigger than the resolution of the game which is 480 by 270. This is um, 480 288 I think. I've slightly increased it so that it um it matches the 32 by 32 sprites, otherwise you get this bit of awkward thing on the bottom. But yeah, I basically plopped those here and here, and I've scaled them accordingly, and this acts as the rooms of my game. So when the player is in this area, the screen is only restricted to here, while if he's down in this bottom section, it could be way on the left and it'll scroll in the middle, and then it'll be on the right, and of course vertical, and that all works. But uh, let, me, let me show you how it works, alright. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the OBJ room itself, it's just empty, so nothing to worry about there. If you go into the player object, when we create variables, I've created some camera variables. View x min, view x max, view y min, view y max. What this basically is going to do is, in my step event, I'm going to go ahead and ask the room objects what their x position is and what the x position plus a certain value multiplied by their scaling is. And we'll use that to basically limit where our camera moves. Let me show you right now. Here's a camera. All right. So I'm just enabling views. I am changing the view so that it's hosing on the player's x position and the y position with a slight adjustments to make it so that it's centered. 240 is half of 480, so that centers the player right in the middle. Ow, sorry, I just hit my hand on the table. Uh, Alright, and if it's if it's meeting with a room, I'm not sure if this if statement is even necessary, but whatever. <laughs> with instance position x, y, obj room. So it's going to find the position of the obj room object that it's currently in collision with. Basically, that's what it does. Using it, it's what the with statement does is it basically pretends to be the other object for a little bit. So, when I'm referring to x here, it's referring to the x position of obj room. And yeah, if, if I just went obj room dot x, then, then it might not go for the correct one, because uh, there's, there's multiple rooms, so yeah. But this is the first thing that came to mind. Other just specifies that in the context of with, it, it goes for the actual player object. So other means player object. So this these are basically taking our view x min x max y min y max that I was talking about earlier I said it to the variables based on the var based on the values in the obj room object so we've got x as the minimum x plus 480 which is the default width of a room then you multiply it by image scale x and then you do the same for the y axis and if I bring the rooms back as you can see if I go to this room for example it's 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 two twice as tall as a regular room I go to object Scale X, scale Y, you see this is where you set it on individual instances. And then I can use these min-max variables to basically cap it off. So so if um view X is smaller than view X minimum of the camera, then it's gonna it's gonna say, no, you can't go beyond this minimum, you can't go smaller than it. Here's your minimum. And the same with maximum values at the ends. And yeah, that's basically how it works. It's, it's very simple. Let me let me show you. All right, a little demonstration. Probably should have shown this first, to be honest. But yeah, all right, here it is. We got a little character. We'll walk around. The camera doesn't move at all. Oh, geez, I need I need to press the X button to jump. All right, cool. Yeah, it's, this game's got physics. It's fun. All right, and then I go up here, and it just pops into the next room. And then here, this is the vertical room that you saw earlier. So I can scroll vertically like this, and then it just caps off when I reach the bottom of the room. And then this is the wide room on the left here. So I can go in. And then I can scroll until I reach the end of the room. And then that's it. Then I can go back to the center room. It's pretty nice. It works. It's very simple. There's only one problem with it, basically. Is that you have all these big objects everywhere. And if you want to do actual level design and put all your collision objects in there, then you're going to need to kind of move these out of the way temporarily and then move them back in. But it's, it's not too difficult to do. You, you can just go back and if you you can delete them all and then just bring them back. And it's very easy to just scale them. And it's like, bam, it, it takes two seconds, you know? 
So I do think it's something to particularly worry about. But yeah, that all works and it's nice. So yeah, I, I hope this video was helpful for anyone trying to make a Metroidvania type game or, or something. I don't know. Good luck to you. And uh, hope you, uh, yeah, didn't have to close.